Hey, what's up guys? How you all doing? So, the final Syndicate melee weapon, the Vekor Sidon. Did I keep the best for last? A weapon that caught a lot of the player base by surprise. Expectations of a Vekor Jatka Tag were of course high, or even a Vekor Ak and Brunt. Heck, I even heard mention of a Vekor Machete. So tank feck and Clem, we didn't get our hands on that thing. Instead, we got a trident that can block bullets because a pool will block bullets much better than a shield, right? Complete sense, but actually the Sidon is pretty damn good damage and range wise and it might even be my favourite out of all of the new Syndicate melee weapons. You can of course get the Vekor Sidon off Steel Meridian for that 125,000 standing once you've hit the maximum rank with them and it has a unique passive which is a 15 meter radial blind that is released after you have stored up enough blocked damage. When you're blocking that incoming damage and you're storing it up, 15 is the number that you need to hit. That is the number that will be on the top right hand side of your screen. If you release your block before you hit that magic number of 15, then of course you don't get the radial blind. If you jump up or swing your melee weapon while blocking, then it resets itself as well. So you basically just need to stand there and block with the Vekor side on and absorb damage and then release your block and voila, space magic. You've now burnt the retinas out of your enemies' heads. But having to block at times can also cause you to lose your combo meter if you're running I guess with body count. The fact that the Steel Meridian Syndicate melee weapon is a trident with this passive and not a sword and shield is kind of what annoys me and it's probably the only thing that annoys me damage wise like I said it's quite a good weapon but that passive is kind of suited to a sword and shield more. Let me set the scene for you guys. You're in your Lyset and you get a transmission from Lotus herself telling you that an alert has popped up but you need to be extra especially careful. Because on this mission there is a whole Grenier platoon who are heavily armed so expect to come under a lot of intense gunfire. You will need protection. So in front of you Lotus has placed two sets of Steel Meridian's newest prototype weapons. On your left there is a sword and a shield. Ideal for deflecting bullets and protecting your feckin face. Bullets will bounce off it which makes it a good solid choice. But on your right is a trident, a long pole arm with three prongs on the end of it, ideal for catching fish or stabbing things, but if you spin it fast enough you might just block a bullet or two. If it can block a fish then it can block a bullet. Choose wisely Tenno for your life is at stake. It's a hard chase, I don't know, can I, can I phone a friend? Uh, I don't have any friends, fuck it. Trident it is, trident it is, let's do this. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to say goodbye to the Honourable Hydride who thought taking a stick to a gunfight was a good feckin' idea. Good riddance. So that's kind of my issue. <laughs> I'm going to put it down to complete space magic. I really just think that this passive would have much better been suited to a sword and a shield. But maybe that's just me. Now compared to the normal side on the Vekor deals a nice 85 base damage. That's 10 damage more than the normal side on. It has a faster swing speed. It has a higher crit chance. And of course the syndicate effect of blinding enemies after you've stored up enough block damage. It's a weapon that you can either mod for crit with the berserker and of course the blood rush and body count combo. Or you could go ahead and mod it for status with a body count and weeping wounds entirely up to you. I've been running it with viral status and of course weeping wounds. Also been running it with gas just for giggles and blast damage as well because trying to have as much fun as possible. Primed reach or reach will affect the range of that radial blind as well so it's going to be a good idea to have that one equipped. Let me know what you guys think of the Vekor side on. Maybe you had hopes for a Vekor Jatka Tag or a Vekor Akin Brunt like I did as well. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always thanks very much for watching.